Hey Gemini, this is your look at the astrology of May 2021. My name is Katie Sweetman and this is Empowering Astrology. So let's look at this month. Actually, this is a big month for you, Gemini. And in a way, it uh, ties back to some things that were happening um, at the end of last year and also the middle of 2020, and that's eclipses. So you may or may not know this, but uh, we've been having eclipses in Gemini and and Sagittarius, Sagittarius is what's called your opposite signs, your relationship sign, um, since the middle of 2020. When eclipses are happening in your sign, you will have a solar eclipse in Gemini on June 10th. Um, your life is sort of doing a thing, at the, yeah, that's a technical term. It's doing a thing at the moment. It's like the tectonic plates are moving. It's like there's a sense that things are shifting and changing and you're preparing for the next chapter of your life. So let's sort of start with the nitty gritty. Um, Mercury, your planet, it goes into Gemini on May 3rd. So this is on some level, it's a rebirth, it's a renewal, it's time to move forward. Um, it's Taurus season this month. So it's, you know, we have to sort of also point out that Taurus is your last sign of the zodiac. And it sort of talks about this need to let go, to surrender, per to prepare for the next chapter of your life. So you're sort of got one foot and something new, but you still got another foot and something else. And maybe you're having to sort of go through the inventory of your life right now. This could include emotional, spiritual, and maybe even physical as well, because, you know, Taurus does talk about the physicality of life and the things that we own. Maybe you have to get rid of some things. Maybe you have to like clean things out, move things out, shake things up in order to prepare for this next new chapter. So, you know, if you're feeling a little tired, if you want to take a rest, um, it's the natural time in your, let's say your Zodiac calendar to, to do so. But at the same time, it's like you want to rest, you want to, you know, look within and maybe meditate or do some existential soul searching. But then at the same time, life is still pushing and pulling at you. Um, I will also add that on May 8th, Venus goes into Gemini as well. So we're starting to get this crossover from Taurus season and into Gemini season, even though we're not quite there yet. But while that's happening, sort of the big news this month, one of the big news is this month, and it's not just the eclipses, is that Jupiter goes into Pisces on May 13th. So here's why this is a big deal for you, Gemini. Pisces is your sign of your career. So you're sort of stepping into a time in your professional life where it's about career growth, career opportunities. Maybe you're thinking, yes, that's great. Um, maybe you've spent um, the past year or, you know, however long trying to you know, get classes focus on education, maybe getting the uh, certificates and the specialized training that you need for your professional life. But Jupiter going into Pisces, um, it will dip into Pisces on May 13th, it dips out on July um, 28th. But then it goes back in at the end of this year. So think of May to July as, as some sort of a preview. Jupiter, sometimes um, astrologers can put a lot of promise on Jupiter, and I typically try not to oversell Jupiter, but Jupiter's got a lot of things going for it. In Pisces, it's in its sign. Uh, we say in astrology that Jupiter is ruled by Pisces. So Jupiter's going to have a lot of strength and dignity in your professional life, and it's sort of opening doors. It's you know maybe getting you that promotion. Maybe it's also giving you the courage and bravery and the confidence to leave something that you need to leave, or maybe you haven't been able to, to, to move out of. This includes a lot of things in life. I think Jupiter, on some level, it's growth, but it's also the freedom. You know, maybe it's the opportunities that you didn't have, or maybe things were stagnant or in the way, and suddenly things are finally starting to move. Um, Jupiter is also your relationship sign, so it's also moving something in relationships, and I mean all relationships, not just romantic relationships. Um, if you are single, for example, maybe, you know, Jupiter going into Pisces sort of shifts 
that story a little bit. You meet somebody or it's somebody whom, you know, you really want to build a life with. It's a little bit more serious than maybe that somebody from the past. Um, maybe if you're in a current relationship, it's time for a new chapter. You know, it, it just, whether it's a romantic partnership or a marriage or even just a uh, one-on-one connection that you have in your life. But that said, it is more about your professional life at the moment. Um, really pay attention to some of the stories that are starting to come up around May 13th. I'm a kind of astrologer that I always talk about the stories and there's going to be a seed that's planted um, around 13th of May that is going to kind of sort of take you into 2022. So it's always good just to you know, put in your Google calendar, no, sorry, no endorsements, but, you know, put into whatever calendar that you have or whatever notes you take, you know, you know, what are you doing? What are you thinking? What's going on in your professional life? What's going on in relationships too? Um, the other thing that's happening this month, it's going to be your birthday starting May 20th. Um, yeah, the sun goes into Pisces and then you're going to feel like you can finally start to get some traction and movement. But I think when the sun goes into Pisces, it's going to start to bring some um, uh, energetic movement to some of this other stuff that's brewing, namely this lunar eclipse that's on um, 26th of May. Um, Before we get to that that lunar eclipse, I don't want to forget to talk about that new moon that's on May 11th. Um, Yes, I was saying a few moments ago that you need to sort of prepare for this new life. You know, all these things that are starting to move and they like they want to move fast and you're Gemini, you like to move fast. But there's still some stuff that has to be taken care of from the past. And I think that that's where that new moon on May 11th comes in. And um, that's giving you sort of this push to really sort, to go through, to let go, to get very clear about what you need in your life. Um, you know, maybe there's a tendency to accumulate stuff with Gemini, it loves a lot of different things, but I think there's a greater um, question of value right now and even spiritual value. There might be things that you have in your life, but it's like, is this what I truly need? In my life, and that's sort of the question that's being um, o- that's open, being opened up for you with this new moon on May 11th. Another thing that I forgot to mention is that Saturn also turns retrograde on May 23rd. Stat- Saturn is in your what's called your ninth sign. And the ninth sign for for any uh, uh, zodiac sign is all about faith, truth, and meaning. So I think you're just in this larger period of time where you have to answer deeper existential questions. And I think Saturn is really trying to get you to, to be precise about what you believe in, what's your truth, what's your meaning. Um, this part of the chart for you is more about the world, meaning what, what do you believe in in the world? What do you, your education, what has education taught you to believe in? Or even religion, if that's relevant to you. So I think Saturn is really touching on deeper themes around faith right now. It's also talking about convictions and maybe even legal matters, if this is something that's relevant to you. But you sort of have to get very clear with what you believe in at the moment, because Saturn is sort of you know, really pressing upon you right now. And and let's keep in mind that 2021 is a year because Saturn is over here and then Uranus is over here and they're making something called a square this year. And um, as you sort of, you know, start to feel the tension between different parts of your life as you start to go into the middle part of May and even June as well. And it's like there's this one foot and a new life and there's another foot in an old life, maybe you're really feeling the tension, or maybe you're it, maybe you're really using it to kind of step up into this new time in your life. But then there's the full moon that I was re- I was referring to on May 26. It's a full moon in Sagittarius. It's also a lunar eclipse. So this is the real start of eclipse season. Um, you will feel the buildup of energy all month long. And uh, really, this eclipse for you is about relationships. So really pay attention 
to the relationship themes that are coming up for you, whether it's an ex coming out of the woodwork or some old uh, interpersonal you know, theme that you're working through, or even new people coming into your life, or even you having to make a decision about a relationship because lunar eclipses, they sort of demand that we take action, that we make a decision, that we move in whatever direction that we need to move in, or sort of life moves us because the thing about eclipses is that there's an element of fate to eclipses they sort of rearrange our lives it sort of says that this chapter is over now this it's this chapter that's begun and like i said this is in your relationship sign of sagittarius the this eclipse does talk about faith and truth sort of these other themes that are also present for you right now um but i think with jupiter in um Pisces at the time of this full moon, this is something about this eclipse that's really marking a major new chapter for you. And maybe there's a shift in relationships, maybe something comes in, maybe you and a partner need to take things to the next bigger level in your life. And then at the end of the month, we have Mercury turning retrograde on um, May 30th. So yes, it's time for another Mercury retrograde. This Mercury does turn retrograde in Gemini, your sign, Gemini. Um, you know the drill, just Mercury retrograde for you is a time to pull back instead of pushing forward. It's a time to reflect instead of really uh, taking action. It's the natural ebb and flow of life. You know, because Mercury will turn retrograde in Gemini, just double check your communication, double check, double check your communication with family, with a partner. Um, are you being clear? Are you getting your needs met? Mercury will turn uh, retrograde square Neptune. And um, this does talk about these sort of bigger themes that have been happening in professional life for many years making sure that um, whatever decisions that you're making in your professional life uh, align with your spiritual values. But Mercury will be retrograde into June, no big deal. Like I said, you know the drill. So that is your look at the astrology of May 2021. Uh, Gemini, my name is Katie Sweetman, and you can follow me online at empoweringastrology.com. I am an astrologer and psychic medium here in Brooklyn, New York. You can also follow me on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. I do weekly videos. You can subscribe to this YouTube channel so you don't miss anything. Of course, you can book a consultation with me. So yes, big month, Gemini. I'm sure we will have lots to talk about come June. So until then, take care. Bye.